Welcome back, it's Raktar, and as you can see, I'm starting off in kind of a weird spot, especially considering where I died in the last episode. And the reason I'm starting off right here is firstly because I was going to show that I got a new buster part made with all the stuff that I collected in the last episode. It's way better than any freaking thing I've got right now. It is the auto battery. It maxes out your energy completely, so you no longer need any items that are uh, messing with your energy. So basically, I think I'm just going to max out my attack and my energy. Which, by the way, um, basically just makes me, like, unbelievably powerful. Because I can fire a constant stream of energy without it ever stopping. Of course, I do have to dodge bullets, though, but... So the reason I'm starting in this room, though, th there's more important shit to what I'm saying right now. And I... So I started talking about the fact that I'm starting in this room specifically. And it's because I completely forgot, as I was um, running back and recollecting all the stuff that I collected in the previous episode after I died, I noticed that I hadn't gone in this room my first time going through the area, and I was like, why did I not go in this room? And then I was like, I remembered that I said something about um, not wanting to get any- oh my gosh, what is that? It's Buster Unit Omega? We have to go look at that. We have to know what it is. Alright, let's look at Buster Unit Omega. Increases attack and range- oh, dude. We'll check that out, we'll put that on. Oh my gosh. Dude, I am just like... an unbeatable machine now, like seriously. And that guy's still firing at me, whatever. So yeah, I just thought I would come back, point out that I had not yet been to this area- or that particular area... simply due to... My own failure to go places. But now I'm going to cut back to the fight with Bruno. Oh, I guess before I cut back to the fight with Bruno, I will point out the fact that... I am now equipped with the... Um, my homing missile weapon, because I figured I don't switch around my special weapons very much. But the Bruno fight would probably actually be a pretty good fight to use my homing weapon on. So yeah, I'll cut to that fight right now. Alright, I'm back to- I'm back to battle Bruno back for round two, and he's already kicking my ass. I, I forgot that I need to stay close to him. So, I'm wondering if these homing missiles... Nope! You know what? The homing missiles might have not... Oh, there we go. I was like, they might not have actually have been as amazing a strategy as I had originally thought, so... It looks like we're just gonna have to fight this guy the old-fashioned way. No homing missiles. But that's okay. So, I don't think I actually showed any of this fight in the last episode, but... Basically, you need to jump and shoot this guy. Like, you've got no choice but to jump him and shoot him. Which I was not doing last time, but now, this time around, I've got a full energy canteen. So that was really the, like, the main reason that I died last time. Was because I didn't have a full energy canteen. Which makes this fight very challenging. Like, it makes it, like, legit so quit so challenging. Because he just does a lot of fucking damage. Like, way more damage than I had really expected, so... Hopefully... Oh, man. Dude, I feel like sometimes those, uh... Those homing green bombs... Are way more accurate than other times. Like, the game just sort of, like, randomizes how accurate they are, but... I'm probably just making that shit up. Oh, like, right now it's gonna randomize it because I'm standing right next to him. I don't know. Dude, I hate the homing green bombs. Shoot him, make him and... There we go. Oh, look at this. I'm raking in the damage on this guy right now. Holy fa- Oh, no, 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 ditch! Ditch! There we go. Oh, whew. Oh, shit, 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 shit! Shit, shit, shit! That was so cheap! Did you see that? That is, like, not cool, the way that... I was just completely stuck in a, um... I was, like, completely stuck in just, like, a loop of his little move just going over and over again. Very unfair, if I may say so myself, but... I guess that's only one man's opinion, one man's bad opinion, that his move is very unfair, but I totally felt that was super cheap what just happened. Fuck! Fuck! There we go. Dude, getting behind him is really the best strategy, but... Because you get a lot of time to just rake up the damage when you're just standing behind him. I don't know... Like, in all seriousness, I'm not completely sure how I managed to die the last time I did this fight. Well, I mean, which was 
in yesterday's episode, like, I've just... Something was just not right about the way I was playing. Also, though, I've changed a lot of my gear out since the last episode. Because in the last episode, I didn't have the, um, the really awesome weapons that allowed me to have a lot more range, because I didn't... Like, I just didn't have on the thing that got me all the range, because I, I hadn't picked it up. And so... Oh, fuck. Steve, man, standing close to that guy is not a good idea. But yeah. So, I don't know. There's just, like, a lot of stuff that was different about my weapons at the time. Urgh. Okay. We gotta dodge this shit. Oh, see, look at that! I swear, like, straight up, sometimes... His thing just shoots, like, it is so accurate, and then other times it's super easy to dodge. Like, I am straight up calling out the game on that one. Also, though, I have, like, no health left. I have to be super careful right now to not get, like, stunlocked or get hit by this. Look at that shit! Like, seriously, like, sometimes it's just not accurate, and then sometimes it has, like, undoubtedly unquestion unquestionable accuracy. And I don't understand, like, what makes it, like, different or better. See, like, that one wasn't even close. And I really do just have no real understanding of, like, what makes a close one and what makes a not close one. Ugh! Alright, there we go. No, no green things right now. Oh! There we go. Nice, nice, green things dodged. I really do not want to redo this fight again. After I died the last time on my very first try. Alright. See? Oh! There we go. Oh, what? That was most assuredly a dodge. I guess, obviously, I can say it was a dodge, but if I took damage, then it was not a dodge. Oh, here we go. Oh. Oh. There we go. Dude, I just want to get him on this cycle now. Also, I feel the auto-aiming sometimes in this game is like... Sometimes it works just really well, and other times it just decides that it's not gonna be hot. Like, it's like, ah, uh, we just suddenly... There's like no continuity in the auto-aiming. I like how once... I, I love this game so much, but once I'm at a boss fight where I'm not doing so hot, I immediately start being like, The auto-aim is totally messed up! That's gotta be the problem! It can't possibly be my own ineptitude. I've never been inept at a game in my whole life! Alright, there it goes. I should probably get away. I feel like it'll blow up and deal damage to me if I'm close to it. And I'll just shoot some of those to for good measure. To make myself feel better about things. Okay, Blue Boy, I must know, what's your name? Me? My name is Mega Man. Mega Man Volnut. Mega Man, is it? You know, I've been in this business a long time, but this is the first time anyone's ever given me this much trouble. Yet, it feels good somehow being beaten by you like this, almost as though I've met my match. Teasel! I can face the facts. I lost, you won. I'm gonna try to forget this entire incident. Ah, it feels good to say that. My heart feels as clean as the blue sky on a cloudless day. See you around, Mega Man. Wait! mean I'll never see him again? Drawn. Once he finds the treasure, we'll wait for our chance and take it from him. What? You didn't think I was going to just walk away, did you? Oh, of course not. Now that's the Teasel I know. You bet it is. Old Teasel never gives up. I'll get that treasure sooner or later, one way or the other. Bye. 
All right, finally that hellish, hellish hellhole of hell fight is over, and I'm kind of curious what's in here. This was this is now in the ruins of where that big building was. Oh, I shouldn't go anywhere though, because I've got no health. Let's find out. Oh, this is one of these. Okay. Oh no no no. We can't leave until... Okay, well, I guess we're doing this right now. Fuck. With no fucking health. Alright, so, what these are... Well, he's explaining it right now, but he's not gonna do as nearly as good an idea explaining it as I did. So, remember when I was down in the ruins in the last episode in the main gate? There was a thing that said you had to op uh, You had to go activate the sleeper, dreamer, and the whatever. Like It just said that, basically, you have to go activate things in order to be able to do the final thing. Like, you can't just walk... You basically can't just waltz in to the final treasure area. You actually need to go do stuff. And... So what happens is, in all these areas... Um, this is one of the few areas in the game where beating all the enemies is a requirement. So you come into these places, you have to beat every single enemy, and once you've beaten every single enemy, um, a door will unlock, and then you can go hit the switch to activate, like, the thing that the security, what, what whatchamacallit, was talking about. So yeah, basically, I'm just gonna be defeating every single enemy right now while looking at the beautiful night sky. Some of these enemies, I feel like, they're placed in here purely more out of, like, annoyance or just to be annoying than, like, to be a challenge to you or anything, because just the little, like, spinning things on top of the buildings, it's like, why even bother with those, you know? Like, they're just there to be there, so you have to go find them. See, like, these things, they're just those little towers, they do no damage, they can't attack you, it's like, come on, game, what is even the point of putting those up there? Obviously, these guys will come at you and shoot fireballs and shit at you, so they're legit. But also, notice how my, like, extremely high-fire-powered weapons that I have managed to put together now are basically unstoppable and plus I can hit enemies from ridiculously far away because my range is way upgraded now look at this guy he doesn't even know he doesn't even know where to shoot me from because I'm too far away from him there we go blow the fuck up bitch you're gonna get blown up I'm actually really happy that I mean like I've said before in this game once you kinda like get the patterns of all the enemies down there's really oh I missed all that money there's really no challenging enemies that'll just, like, blow you away and murder you. So, oh, except for right now, this thing is about to murder me. But yeah, I'm surprised... Either way, I was surprised that I was able to come in here with zero health and do this whole thing. Although, who knows, maybe I haven't done the whole thing yet because the music's still going. So basically, the way you know that you've defeated all the enemies in one of these areas is when the music stops. So let's here, I've got a little tower thing up there, and I saw a little tower thing over up on top of another building. Seriously, these are so annoying. Like, I mean, I guess they can damage you in one way. That is, if I think if you're standing too close to it when you kill it and it, the explosion hits you, or if you touch it, but they're kind of goofy, because other than that, there's really no way that these things can damage you, so they're just kind of like hanging out for, no for nothing. Sound like a door opening somewhere. And by the way, the door opening somewhere. I better take a look around. I better take. I always thought the way he said "I better take a look around" was so goofy. I better take a look oh. around. Yep. So there's the watcher key, one of the three keys that I need to get in order to unlock that final door. Um, I'm not sure if there's anything or not, but I'm gonna stop the recording right here and go look around on the sides of these buildings for holes. In case you can get gear in here, but I don't remember if you actually can or not. Alright, so yeah, I'm done with that place. Basically, there's one of those places in each of, like, the chunks of town. Now, to be 100% honest, this little area of town, I'm gonna be, like, I totally never quite understood it. Now, there's an area in downtown called the library, and in the library, you can go read books on, like, various, like, digging history books... Various books on, like, the history of, uh, Catalox Island. And it always says, oh, dude, this dog can kill me because I'm so low on... Ugh! Because I'm so low on health right now, I could totally get a game over from these dogs. I have to fucking watch it. I'm basically just, like, searching around for, uh, any, like, gear, but I'm not sure that there actually is gear in this place. 
but I'm not 100% sure. For, like I said, though, for some reason, these fucking asshole dogs like to kill me. So let's actually go somewhere where I can maybe get some health right at the moment. Oh, here's something interesting. So I was talking to Roll just now. I didn't even know this was a thing. And then she was like, hey, Mega Man, where'd you get the music box? Because I accidentally selected Talk to Roll. And so now I'm going to say, I wanted to win it for you. I don't know what to say. Thank you. Oh, but I guess I didn't give it to her. I just win it and I don't give it to her. Maybe if I give her all the gifts. What a wonderful little ring. Did you really find it underground? Uh, why don't you keep it? You mean I can have it? Wow, thank you so much, Mega Man. I promise I'll always wear it. Holy shit, I didn't know I could just give her all this shit. Oh, I guess I can't give her any more shit. I'm not good. I'm not a good enough man to give her all the gifts. But anyways, what I was about to say, well, I wasn't going to say anything. I was just going to cut to me doing something else, but that came up. So now I'm actually going to cut to me doing something else. So as you might remember, once upon a time, I was in this area and I was battling pirates. They were ruthlessly attacking me whilst I was here, and I could not get to this. Also, I can break this. Oh, ow. <laughs> yeah, so I couldn't get up here because I didn't have double jump boots the first time I was here. And I thought I would show that I'm pretty 100% certain that one of these boxes has an item in it. Safety helmet. Yes, I was like, there's actually a legit important item. I probably should have come and gotten that a long time ago because that... Oh... And I guess the shop owners are just randomly chilling out here. Okay, that's weird. Well, yeah, the shop owners are randomly chilling out here. But yeah, safety helmet can be used to make a piece of armor for me. Damn, man, I should have come here a long time ago because that's actually going to prevent some damage. I feel like a total dumpski now for not having come here much earlier in the game, but you know what? Oh well, now I'm gonna go make the helmet. We're all good, but yeah, I thought as long as I was over in this area, I would sort of come show that you could do shit here that you couldn't do before. So as the game is winding down, I figured that I've blabbed about the drill arm so much that it was finally time that I show what it's actually used for. And yeah, that's basically it. You just use it to blow up walls that are in your way. And realistically, from what I remember correctly, I, at the beginning of this playthrough, I remembered that the drill arm was very good for like... I sort of remembered that the drill arm was good for things such as, um, getting all these extra items, but now that I think about it, I think it might only just open up, like, shortcuts, but I'm not 100% sure about that. I'm actually gonna go check some drill arm locations and find out. Alright, I know my pathing around right now might seem completely random, but I just want to go to all these places that I said I would visit in previous episodes, and so, as you can see, I just came back to the Lake June Ruins, so I could go check out this chunk of ruins that I haven't even visited yet. I mean, look at this. I have checked out nothing in these ruins down here, and it's because they're all stopped up by a bunch of, like, freaking drill- Oh. Oh, that's a new kind? Whoa, 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 whoa. There's trash can guys out here. Well, there's not trash can guys, per se. In fact, there's only one trash can dude. But either way, he needs to die. For me to succeed in my ways. Okay, so there's nothing in this room. So yeah, I'm gonna do some ruin exploration right now, is what I'm trying to say. And sadly, there's no holes in the wall in this room, but... Are there? Yep, alright, cool. So now we can move past all these, uh, drill walls. One thing that sort of bothers me about the drill walls, but I mean, I can't be too mad about it. Although it is vaguely disappointing in a way is that the drill walls don't disappear once you've done away with them. And I don't know, something about that is vaguely disconcerting to me. Because it's like, why wouldn't they have thought about that? I don't know, it just seems like a thing that they would have maybe considered, just so you can kind of keep better track of where you've gone and where you haven't gone, and like, which walls you've drilled down already, so... It is a little bit disappointing to me that they decided to not... Ooh, box in there. But yeah, it is a little bit disappointing that they decided to not track which walls you've drilled down in this game, but... At the same time, it's a pretty fantastic game, and I can't ask for everything. That's just not fair of me to do that. Alright. Must not miss any holes in the wall. Alright, good. Time to drill down some more fucking walls, bitches! And as you can see, I've already been in this, um... In this section. Oh, but there's another drillable wall that I haven't been through over there. 
So just for the hell of it, I'm gonna head back here. Oh, I already drilled all these walls down. I just wanted to make sure that I'm like drilling down everything. I don't even know why. Like there's no reason to drill down everything other than OCDness. But whatever. We're gonna come down. We can finally come through this door and see what is behind this gigantic drillable wall. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, that's a box I already got. All right, cool. Drillable wall, bitches! Whoa, holy shit. This is like, oh, it's got dudes. There is so much drillable wall in here. They're just like putting drill wall everywhere in this place. They didn't even, oh fuck, they didn't even give a fuck. They're just like, bitches, we gonna put drill wall everywhere. Like when the architects were building this place, we're just like fucking drill wall. Like what are we gonna, what are we gonna fill in this gap with? I don't know, bitches, maybe we put in some of that drill wall? Alright, cool. Oh shit, I thought he was dead. I mean, he obviously wasn't. Look at this, you can just walk around his shield, and he's worthless. But as you can see, there's a hole in the wall where this drill wall was. That's why there's so much drill wall. Alright, refractor shard, worth like almost nothing. You'd think at this point in the game, like, they'd know. I've got way more money than for that measly amount of coin to be worth anything to me. But obviously they don't even give a fuck. Alright, here we go. More holes in the drill wall full of tiny refractor shards. Dude, seriously, if I want to get the next level of armor, I need like 120,000 whatevers. Wing wings. I need 120,000 Mega Man bucks. And here they are trying to like cheat me out with 660 main core shard. Guys, main core shard sounds like a pretty legit item, because it's like the main shard, like it's not a partial core shard. It's- whoa. Can I drill these? These look very drillable. I guess not. I probably shouldn't waste ammunition on them, because as you can see, my drill arm has a limited amount of drilling that it can do- wait. Oh, this! This is interesting. Do you know where this goes? I do. It pokes you right back into the other side of Lake June. Huh. That is interesting. I forgot that... I thought that these two doors, like, went to two different places. I never actually realized that they both just, uh, pop into different points on the Lake June Ruins exploration route of glory. So I was right, though, about one thing, and that is that exploring this area does have payoff with your drill, but... What I still do think is that the area with, um, the other drillable places in the game where, like, the drill isn't required to get in, like, I think it's just to open up a bunch of shortcuts. Like, I legitimately believe that there's not other places that actually have, like, super usefulness. Alright, we're gonna find out. That's it? Rapid Strikers? Rapid Plus 2? Fuck that. We already have an amazing drill setup. Alright, and then, where did that southern- oh, that goes to another set of ruins. Alright, well, I'm gonna cut until I find, like, more useful, cool things down here. Well, I was seriously trying to leave no stone unturned in those ruins, but it appears as though I've turned every stone, but I figure I'll do another item development here, and I know I'm gonna get the helmet for sure, yep. And now, uh, the helmet will basically- oh, I can't get knocked down by enemy attacks! And, let's see here, still be careful, but- Okay, so it doesn't block damage, but it actually, it does make so I can't get knocked down, which is pretty damn useful, so... I can't complain too much. Anyways, I feel like this is a great time, actually. After all that exploring and a little bit of storyline getting done, I'm going to end this episode of Mega Man Legends right here. This has been Rakdar. Thank you for watching.